So I've always wanted to come out to Lake Erie ice fishing for big walleyes, but one of my concerns has always been safety out here. You know, Lake Erie just isn't known for very good ice. In fact, a lot of years it doesn't have any ice. So as I was planning this trip out here, there were a few things that I took into account and some equipment that I'm going to tell you about that will actually help you be safer out on the ice, not only here on Lake Erie, but anywhere you ice fish. The first thing to consider is the type of vehicle you're going to come out here with. I prefer to use a snowmobile, and one of the main reasons I do that is because if you do encounter a small crack, you can easily go over it with a snowmobile. With something like a four-wheeler, it's very easy to dump your front tires in, then break the edge of the ice and turn into a real situation. So snowmobile is my choice. Next thing is, is look for and carry a good chisel, you know, or spud. Now the way we use this is a lot of times if you're looking ahead and you see kind of an iffy area, simply hop off your snowmobile. A person weighs a lot less than a sled. Go out in front of that and just be chiseling along in front of you to see if that spud drives through the ice. Obviously if it does, <laughs> slowly work your way back and, and get away from that area. The next thing that I would probably look at is the type of clothing you're wearing. Now for most people, what I would suggest is something like these inflatable life jackets. Very easy to put on, comfortable to wear all day, and if you would happen to get in the water, it's going to help you out, keeping you up on top of the water. The thing I wear is something called a lift suit. Now, although this is not a Coast Guard approved suit, I can still wear this out on the ice because I know it will help keep me up on top of the water if I would happen to go in, making it easier for me to get back on the ice and then back into shore. So the last thing we should look at is a kind of a cool piece of equipment. This is called a nebulous. What it is is basically an inflatable raft. This raft is tethered down to the frame of this machine. So if I would happen to fall in the water with my machine, although the machine might sink, this raft will inflate when you pull this handle and it'll actually suspend that machine below the water. So that makes it a little bit easier to retrieve. But more importantly, this raft is then big enough to hold one or even maybe two people up on it once you're in the water. So there's a lot of cool equipment that you can use use to help keep yourself safe out on the ice. The important thing though is to use common sense. If the ice conditions aren't safe, there's no walleyes, even as big as these walleyes are on Lake Erie, that are worth risking your life out in unsafe ice conditions.